Hey, what is up guys? My name is Marco and back once again from my color screen, the place where you come if you want to learn how to recreate beautiful looking Android home screens. So this video has been long overdue and I'm sorry about that guys, but the app kept changing and I just wanted to be a bit more stable so I can be like, okay, this is what you do and then it won't be updated and then everything will be all different. And that app that I'll be talking about is Ultimate Custom Clock Widget or UCCW for short. If you have no idea what app I'm talking about, then you're in for a surprise because UCCW is probably one of the most easy to use and most functional home screen customization apps that allows you to create almost anything from clocks to battery bars to pretty much anything that you would want quickly and easily on your phone. So this will be a complete guide. I'm going to break it up into two parts. The first part and this video being um, just the extreme basics of how to set up a simple skin. I'm not going to be putting in anything fancy as this will be for the, just the complete beginners. Just to allow someone to create their own skin very quickly, very easily. And in the next video, I'll be introducing features like how to add fonts, how to add weather icons, some useful tips and tricks to help your skins look a whole lot better, as well as anything else that I can think of. So let us begin with part one of this UCCW updated series with this video. Let us begin. Awesome, so I'm assuming that you have no knowledge or very, very little knowledge of this Ultimate Custom Clock widget or UCCW. What it essentially allows you to do is set up any information or look or images onto your Android home screen, providing su such things as your time, your weather, uh, notifications, even an awesome looking battery circle like this. In this tutorial, I'll be going through just the very, very basics to give you something looking very similar to this, just to give you a better understanding of this awesome widget itself. And like I said, in the second part or part two, I'll be going through more advanced features such as adding fonts, weather icons, etc. But for now, I'll be just giving you the overall basics. So the first thing that you definitely want to do, of course, is to download UCCW off the Google Play Store. It's free. So that's always a good thing. So once it's installed, then come right back to this video. Great, so like I said, I'll be creating something very similar to this. I know it's not the most visually appealing, but it's just to get you to understand the basics. Now, in order to add a UCCW skin, very, very easy to do. You just simply have to hold down on your home screen and select widgets or add widgets or somehow getting to your widgets. Now, you'll find it all the way at the bottom where you'll see UCCW like this. Now, it comes in a whole range of sizes. And choosing one is kind of important for the beginning or starting off because what that means is that say if you choose a one by one for example it's going to be very tiny depending on your grid size and then once you try and resize it your proportions will be kind of off so what I kind of always recommend is that if you're going for say a wide rectangle a four by three seems to work out pretty well it also gives you more space to configure or add stuff within your widget and if you only want to create a horizontal bar something like a four by one or five by one or even a four by two will work just as well but for this video I'll be going for a four by three which is that one that's that size over there and this will now bring you up into UCCW skin list if you have any skins already pre-installed However, if you don't, not to worry, you can always add them in later, either by copying them onto your phone or downloading them via the Google Play Store. So we'll only be focusing on one button today and that will be on the top right here, the one that's called New. What that will allow you to do is now create your very own custom made UCCW skin. What will now appear is this little hand here, it's pretty self explanatory, it just says touch here as now this will bring you up into your UCCW editor where you'll be spending most of your time. Now it's just recently gone through a massive overhaul as you can see or people that use the old UCCW there are quite a few differences they've moved things around just making it a lot more user friendly. So let's go through a few of the basics. If we look at the massive white area here this will be your working space. If you create a new skin it comes stock with a blank background a blank white background just to see basically how much space you got to work with. Anything outside of this area, these little checker blocks over here, that means that if you move anything there, it'll not be shown within your UCCW skin, no matter what size it is. So like I said, depending on what uh, widget size you chose, say if you went for a four by one, it'll be a lot more narrow than this one over here. As you can see, you've got more space to work with. If you look at the top buttons here, we've got new open and then our little settings here. This will be for the Nexus 4 guys, I guess for the Samsung users or any other people, you'll have your little options, this little button here at the bottom or in your menu button. What new basically does will, will be just what you've just selected now is just create a new skin or overwrite what you've already been doing. 
open will allow you to import custom use zips but I'll only be focusing that in part two and your settings here if we bring it up it's got a few things that I'll be getting to later as well not so important for the time being moving down now this is where all the fun and the magic will happen as this is where you'll be creating objects editing objects sorting objects etc etc so let's start off shall we if we look at our first button here it said add remove objects if we select it now it comes with a whole list of items that you can add onto this UCCW skin and as you can see there is a plethora of items to choose from they are pretty self-explanatory say if you want the time that comes with your full time that you can obviously edit settings or edit format settings your date same thing but then you can split them up individually you can have your hour just on its own your minute just on its own so if you want different fonts or different sizes or different colors for each one of the different hours and minutes then you can actually have this static text is pretty self-explanatory just pretty much means if you want to add in your own custom text what shapes allow you to do is to add and say a circle or rectangle a triangle whatever you wish and then sh images is your own custom images that you can uh, import from your gallery or wherever else that you can find now it's very easy to add and remove objects say if I added in the time or let's say if I added in the dates and then I selected close it'll now add in this massive date but now say if I don't want it anymore I want it to be removed then I just select this same add items this year and select it again as you can see if I look back it has now disappeared so that's pretty much how to add and remove items so from here I'm just going to be adding in the time I'm just going to select it like that if we scroll a bit more down I want to add in a battery circle now you can either do this one by one or just add them in all at the same time it's all up to you from here I'm going to be adding in the current condition and from here I'm going to be adding in my Gmail one account now you're welcome to also add in your missed calls and text messages as a lot of people do but they're pretty much easy to add you're just going to be adding them in and there's not really much options to change however gmail is a little bit more complicated so i'm only going to be adding in that one just to show you the notification basics so i'm just going to select close now so now you can see everything's been added here it's a little bit all clustered up but we're going to be changing that right now with our edit objects button over here that brings up a whole new range of different options to choose from so as you can see it displays all the different items that you have added as well as hotspots and background that'll always be there no matter what so what hotspots allow you to do and i'll expand more on this in the part two of this video tutorial is pretty much allows you to open up any app that you would want just by simply tapping on the uccw skin so for example you wanted to op open up your clock by tapping on the time then you can do that with hotspots but like i said i'll get to that a bit later from here we're going to be selecting background now this is quite important as a lot of people can get confused with this with your color what it allows you to do is change the different colors to so say if i wanted more of a gray then it can show a gray but what i always like to do is to select alpha here and you can now change the transparency of this this applies to any other object as well it also comes with an alpha changer that you can change the the transparency now i'm just going to leave it full for now as i want all my text to be white and with a transparent background it's not always easy to see white text so i'm just going to select back now and leave background like that for now and move on to the time object over here so as you can see it's been selected now which means that i can move around this time object if i select back go into battery circle this will allow me to move my battery circle so just keep that in mind whatever you have selected and you tap somewhere on the screen it'll move so very be very careful if you've got in very precise movements just make sure what object you have selected but going back into time i'm just going to select it now move it pretty much in the middle but speaking of positioning whereby i'll now be selecting the position option here which will allow you to pretty much position it wherever you want as well as getting precise movements now they've updated this quite a bit as you can see now it now comes with a custom x and y position as this will allow you to get precise movements and then remember them for future ones so say if you wanted them to all be in a line say all aligned to the left or to the right you can get them to exactly the same measurements just to make your life a whole lot easier and to make your widgets look a whole lot better now this comes with a little nifty feature called faster movement and enabling this will now allow you to move things a lot quicker which does help save quite a bit of time so if i wanted to move it a bit down so from here i'm just going to select close now which will bring me up to more options to choose from they are pretty self-explanatory size pretty much saying if you want to change the size the angle if you wanted to rotate it or not your alpha like i said for transparency your color if i wanted to say now change it to white i'll just move this into that over there if you wanted to get really creative it's got your code here that you can always just copy and paste 
for different colors so if you want to get an exact color for all your different items added you can just copy and paste your code here and then so if I just hold down on this and say copy and then paste it it'll then replicate that color on a different item so just keep that in mind now it comes to special effects and this is pretty cool if say for example you wanted to make it fully transparent and I mean transparent and that it cuts through everything then you can say select the see-through effect and what this will allow you to do as you can see it's cutting through the background so whatever it's in front of you'll only see the transparent version of this or the see-through version of this item it is very cool and you should always try it out when you're trying out new skins beneath that will be your shadow and what this basically allows you to do is just to add in a neat looking shadow so say if I wanted to say I always like to go for a 333 3 or 444 4, 4. so these are just your offsets and then your radius is how large you want the shadow to be so so as you can see if I increase that more of a shadow and sometimes it actually looks really good and then obviously your shadow color is what shadow color you want it to be so you can even have a white shadow ugh, but I always keep it for a black shadow just to make it a whole lot better next comes our font which pretty much means allow you to add in a custom font but I'll only be focusing that in part two your case if you want that to be uppercase or lowercase pretty cool sometimes now comes your suffix and your prefix and this comes very important just so it saves you some time you don't have to add in a custom text for whatever else or for whatever item you want to add so say if I wanted my prefix to be um, very simple something like the time is and I just select ok let's just move it around as you can see it now adds a prefix or before the time just so you can always have it there and it always looks really good and the same thing applies for the suffix where it'll just be afterwards so always just keep that in mind and it always adds some functionality to your skin we now come to the bottom where we come to the alignment now I can't stress how important this alignment is you might think oh what's the point I'm just going to be adding it there well it comes in very important say if you've got time or you've got numbers that move and especially with items such as your weather what exactly happens is that say if I align it to my right then it will always fix it to this right hand side here and it won't go past this right hand side finally we come to our format part of this little options here this will only obviously only apply for your time but it also comes in handy if say for what shape you want to add it comes in different formats as well so now you can either change it to a 12 hour 24 hour a lot of people always ask it and this is where you find it in the bottom here in formats so I always like to keep it on a 24 hour and I'm gonna leave it as that now you can change your separator as well I'm just gonna leave it as that common little colon like that so that is pretty much the edit objects area here not much changes obviously if it's something very specialized such as um, your your notification settings then you can change it accordingly but this is pretty much the same setup not much will be added and hopefully you understand a bit more now on how to edit objects I'm just gonna select back now and all I'm going to be doing now is to change each one of these to a white for the battery circle it works a bit differently it changes color according to what level or battery level your phone currently has so for now if it's more than 30 I can make it white but obviously it won't change because the battery is less than 30 so if it's 15 I also want to make it white so I'm going to bump that up and now it changes so just keep that in mind when changing your battery circle you're also welcome to change the width height thickness of battery circles this also applies for shapes as well I'm just going to be showing you now quickly about how Gmail settings work. I've just selected the Gmail object now and as you can see not really much is showing it just comes up with those dashes. What that means is that you have to assign your Gmail account. So I'm just going to select my Gmail account now or my preferred Gmail account and once that's done you can now change your label to say your outbox inbox but I do recommend going for priority inbox as sometimes it can give you some errors. So all of mine have been pretty much configured. I'm just going to move them around using my position, change the text to white and just change the size of each one and then making them a bit more better aligned. Great, so there I've just repositioned everything, just changing the sizes and the color as well as adding the suffix um, new emails to my Gmail account here. So it's still very, very basic. All I'm going to be doing now is selecting background, going into my alpha setting here and then just making it fully transparent. As you can see, it pretty much almost disappears, but don't worry, it's still there. It's a little bit hard to see. So if I just select back now and back again, you're always welcome to do this throughout any part of the, the UCCW editing process, just to get to see what it's basically looking like throughout the process. So you can always just go back in and out of it at any time and it'll just save it for you like that. Another button to take note of is your sort objects and this comes pretty important sometimes say if you want a picture on top of a shape or some text behind some other text and what this pretty much allows you to do is to overlap each one of them 
just by simply moving them in and around. So if something's not really showing too well, either move one forward or one back and it should look a whole lot better. So that is pretty much your very basic skin set up. Like I said, everything else that you want to know about weather icons, importing fonts and etc. is going to be in the second part of this video tutorial. But for now, I'm just going to go back into my options here, select lock widgets, select on, as now when I tap it, nothing will happen, which is good because you don't always want to be bumping up that UCCW editor and changing all the options in that. So I hope you've enjoyed this very basic tutorial. I hope all the beginners out there understand a little bit more about how this very functional, very easy to use app works. So thank you very much guys for watching. Marco here from My Color Screen. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the My Color Screen channel. Also don't forget to check out our Facebook, Google+, Twitter community and Instagram community as yeah, we always enjoy helping you guys out as much as possible. So thank you very much guys for watching and as always, don't stop customizing.